Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we're in the kitchen preparing dinner. And dinner consists of special baked chicken and some cheesy potatoes. So let me prep the ingredients. Stay with me. I'll be right back. Welcome back. So I have here some chicken leg and thighs. I've washed them with vinegar already and I have pierced them so that the seasoning can quickly go through. I have some dried ingredients, some pimento, garlic powder, some all-purpose seasoning and crushed pepper. I'm mixing that together and then I'm going to add brown sugar, a bit of crushed garlic and get that together nicely and I have some green seasoning that I have blended I'm gonna add that to the chicken and get that all rubbed in quickly allow it to sit for a while because we want it to have the flavor throughout so let me put on the spatula and get the seasoning into all the crevices now back to the dry rub, I'm adding some oyster sauce, just about two tablespoons. Remember oyster sauce is salty. I'm also adding some mushroom sauce and I've added those for color and flavoring. I'm adding this red food coloring and let me tell you, this baked chicken has a Chinese influence to it. You know our Jamaican culture has many different um, influences we have the chinese the indian and the europeans so we are using this one a variation of the chinese baked chicken so after putting on that green rub i'm now putting on the mixture we have made and i'm getting the chicken well covered in this mixture i have a lined baking tray here and i'm going to be just placing the chicken leg and thighs onto it um, I'm putting skin up first and then get that all baked on and, and and then turn it over yes just spread out the skin so that the heat can penetrate it and it can just tenderize the flesh of the chicken so I'm putting that in at 350 and 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then I'm gonna move on to the potatoes I have some water being boiled and it should be ready now yes i'm gonna add the potatoes i've also diced some carrots i'm adding some salt to the water and you don't want to add too much because the cheese will have some amount of salt so i'm gonna bring that to a boil and then lower the flame and allow it to cook through over here i'm making the cheese sauce i have some melted butter i'm adding some chopped onion then um, a bit of garlic and then I am going to be adding some flour get that flour cooked in and at this point the flame is very low very low and then I'm gonna add some milk you could add coconut milk just coconut cream just to you know add a little flavor a little different flavor to it um, I'm gonna also bring that to a boil if you want you can add some crushed peppers here or you know whatever spices you want some parsley chopped parsley to the grated cheese I'm adding some white pepper and then I am going to be adding the cheese to the mixture here once the cheese is melted I'm gonna lower the flame I have a lot of milk this is not your normal cheese sauce. I have a, a little more milk than is necessary. And I'm doing this so that I can have the potato being very creamy. All right. So once the potato is finished boiling, I'm going to drain off the liquid and leave it in the pot. All right. I'm now going to add the cheese sauce to it. And remember, I told you the cheese sauce is a bit runny because I want it. To give a creamy effect in the potatoes so go right ahead give that a good stir 
and just cover the part leave it there everything will come together all right good so set that aside and we're gonna quickly make up a sauce for the chicken the leftover seasoning that we had for the chicken i'm gonna add some water to it bring it to a boil and thicken it you can thicken with ketchup tomato ketchup or you can thicken with um you can thicken with cornstarch right so i'm taking out the chicken here and i'm gonna baste them and turn them all right so be very careful now this is hot we can see where the color is coming up nicely i'm gonna drain off that liquid that you're seeing and then um baste with the sauce that we have made all right get that back into the oven for it to just brown up a bit and cook through and then we're ready to serve up all right so i'm removing them now from the oven these took about an hour 15 minutes and i am going to allow them to cool down just a bit and then uh cut them through and serve up So it is very tender I'm just gonna quickly cut through you can see it. you can see it has a rich color on the outside and the inside is very tender it's not overcooked it's just tender and right now I shared with you earlier on that this is a variation of baked chicken and it has a Chinese twist to it because we used the oyster sauce and the mushroom sauce all right so here we have it the baked chicken by itself so i'm going to show you my dinner plate with everything in it the chicken and the creamy cheesy potatoes look at that oh my god that's just so juicy wow so here's my dinner plate i have served up some lettuce some fresh lettuce along with the baked chicken and the cheesy potatoes now you can put your spin on it however you like it but this is my version so thank you so much for watching and remember now to share like and subscribe